friends let me start with the whole new topic and the whole new discussion of double taxation avoidance agreements friends this particular topic let me tell you from international taxation portion point of view is a very very important uh, uh, topic and normally friends repeatedly i mean every second exam you will find a question out of this particular topic as such friends this particular topic is not so difficult and not so simple also in other words you will require to apply very good number of concepts and you should have lot of presence of mind when you read the question okay so you know there is a possibility that uh, uh, you just casually read the question and you end up with application of a wrong provision i mean that kind of attitude can come in this particular uh, topic for the purpose of discussion so be attentive understand the concepts very well and the topic is uh, not very difficult but you need to pay lot of attention okay now first of all friends i will give you an example okay and i will begin my discussion with the help of an example first of all uh, this topic uh, is also called the dt double a double taxation avoidance agreements or sometimes it is also called as avoidance of double taxation i mean just the different name and different way of writing it okay so uh, what is this topic and uh, what are we trying to learn first of all you understand it with the help of an example okay understand this hardcore basic example friends okay see think about one assessee say for example mr x okay mr x he is resident in india he is resident in india and the same gentleman mr x is non resident in some another country okay non resident in the foreign country so i will say this is a foreign country and this is india okay now this particular gentleman is say for example uh, some incomes because he is resident in india so he is probably a common man in india and he has got all varieties of incomes in india okay say for example he has got a salary income in india and this is our normal indian salary from some indian company so no big uh, uh, this thing here say for example it is 60 lakhs of rupees of salary that he is earning from his indian source because he is working in india okay and this particular gentleman has already got one house okay so say for example he has got one house okay house is in the foreign country okay and this particular house is fetching him amount of rent say for example rupees 5 lakhs per annum okay so situation emerge that there is some gentleman who is in india getting income from india and of course it is taxable in india and uh, he has got uh, uh, some property say for example in the foreign country and uh, he is earning some rental income out of the property which is in the foreign country okay now first thing it is very very natural it is very very natural that that particular foreign country is of course going to tax this particular 5 lakh of rupees no doubt about is that now for example we know that there is one concept in uh, our indian tax law that incomes which are deemed to accrue or arise in india we have we know that that there is a concept that means if there is any property situated in india and out of that property if you have any income then indian government tax it no so similarly almost every government has this kind of a concept with some different wordings or something like that so in the foreign country uh, uh, if there is a property and if you have a rental income that country is going to tax it i mean very natural thing okay so uh, say for example uh, on this particular uh, property there is a tax say for example of rupees 1 lakh okay the tax of rupees 1 lakh which you have paid in that particular country because that property income is uh, accruing in that particular country okay now imagine a situation that imagine a situation that because you have income in india you are going to do the computation in india now because you are resident in india you are going to be uh, globally uh, liable for a global taxation in india that means whether you have indian incomes whether you have a foreign incomes okay so a resident and ordinarily resident and normally wherever we understand uh, resident in the international taxation this resident word should be interpreted as in general unless and otherwise it is specifically mentioned uh, in general should be interpreted as resident and ordinarily resident okay now when you do the computation in india 
when you do the computation in India, okay, you are naturally going to say that there is a salary income of 60 lakhs and you will be liable for the global taxation that means your foreign incomes that means your rental income okay your rental income will also be included in india for the purpose of taxation okay so your total income will be computed like this because you are resident in india you will be liable for the global taxation okay now friends this is the stage this is the stage where the double taxation has come into existence okay how see these five lakhs is already included in the income of that particular country and that is the reason there is a tax on that particular uh, rental income in that particular country so this five lakh of rent income out of the property in the foreign country is already taxed is already taxed in the foreign country okay so that is already taxed in that country okay plus the same amount of the rent of rupees 5 lakhs is also included is also included in the taxation in india because of your residential status okay and this is the this is the beginning point of the double taxation so you can say that this particular income is something what is doubly taxed something what is doubly taxed it is taxed in that country also and it is taxed in India also okay so this is how the double taxation has come into existence okay now friends we will be calculating the tax liability so it will be the tax on 65 lakhs of rupees because your total income is 65 lakhs of rupees let me assume a number only say for example your tax liability comes to uh, 15 lakhs rupees say for example this is all assumed number okay so tax on 65 okay why I'm specifically writing tax on 65 because tax on 65 includes includes the tax on rent because rent is included in 65 lakhs of rupees okay that's the reason i'm just writing repeatedly for a better understanding okay now this 15 lakh of rupees the tax figure this particular figure okay logically includes logically includes the tax on the rental income that is 5 lakh of rupees it already includes the tax on rental income which is 5 lakhs of rupees okay now because there is a 5 lakh of rupees which is doubly taxed you will get something called as uh, some relief or some rebate or something called as which we call it as elimination elimination of double taxation okay and and what will happen is these tax of rupees one lakh these tax of rupees one lakh which is actually you have paid in the foreign country okay these one lakh rupees tax indian government will give you some relief some rebate some benefit because that one lakh rupees is already tax paid in the foreign country with respect to this particular income okay so however this will not be always that you will always get some relief or something like that but this is a very general thing i'm telling you so elimination of double taxation will come into picture okay with respect to this particular uh, uh, amount of rupees one lakh either you will get some tax credit or you will get some rebate or you will get some relief something you will get because there is a doubly taxed income so i'm just uh, keeping the things very simple right now so this one lakh rupees <coughs> is your something like your tax relief or something like your tax rebate okay so your net tax payable in india will become 14 lakhs your net tax payable in india will then become 14 lakhs of rupees and this is this is the manner and the method in which the double taxation will get eliminated okay so however this will not always be like you will get full one lakh rupees credit or something like that but general thing i'm just telling you that the taxes which you have paid in the foreign country subject to conditions you will get some relief you will get some rebate in india with respect to that particular taxes okay now friends further okay now once you have understood this particular example there is one extra uh, term which is sometimes used in the international taxation and that let me tell you first of all okay now friends in the international taxation the country in which you are resident country in which you are resident this country is normally called as a home country it is normally called as a home country okay in international taxation language very simplified words okay so normally if i say home country in my discussion it will be understood as a country in which you are resident okay and this particular country this particular country in which you had a property in my example is called as a source country is called as a source country okay source country means basically it is a country 
from which you have a source of income okay is called as a source country normally in the source country you are non resident but it may not always be the case but this is a general imagination which you have to keep it in your back memory okay now friends normally in the home country you get this kind of some relief some rebate something that you get it okay and in the source country generally what you get generally what you get is something called as a special rates of tax a very general thing i'm telling you there is no hard and fast rule in the international taxation that it will always be like this only but very general thing friends i'm just telling you okay you will get a special rates of taxes okay this is how the general interpretation and the general operation will have to be carried out okay now friends once you have understood this you have to now think a little bit differently okay so how does this double taxation emerge how does it get eliminated that very basics that i have already told you but now from law wise you have to think something like this okay supposing you are a resident supposing if you are a resident or supposing if you are a non resident okay supposing you are resident supposing you are non resident okay now in each of the situation you have to think you have to think whether india and that particular country india and that particular country whether they have signed up a double taxation avoidance agreement or they have not signed up any double taxation avoidance agreement so these are the two situations which is possible okay that's the reason i told you that see this 1 lakh rupees some rebate relief or something that you are going to get no it's not always hard and fast it depends on the situations okay so those situations that i am trying to first of all bring it to your notice so you may be resident you may be non resident uh in either of the situation friends in either of the situation there is a possibility that india and that foreign country have a dtwa or there is no dtwa between the india and that particular country okay and in this particular situation in whatever situation supposing india and that particular country has got a double taxation avoidance agreement that means india and that country at the country level whether they have signed up a uh, agreement that how you will get the rebate what rebate you will get what relief you will get it will be a part of that particular agreement it will be basically like a small little uh, treaty kind of situation and uh, as per that you have to follow and as per that you have to give the relief okay so uh, if there is a dtwa you have to follow the dtwa provisions okay respectively at the respective places you have to follow whatever the dtwa says that you have to follow if dtwa says you take rebate okay you take a rebate if dtwa says that you take exemption you have to take exemption it so depends on that particular situation okay you have to follow the dtwa okay if there is no dtwa if there is no dtwa okay in that particular case there is and if you are a resident first of all there is one special rebate there is one special rebate under section 91 which is to be given to the assessee there is a special rebate which is to be given if there is no dated double there is one special section uh, which is incorporated in the law that we have to study it separately okay and if there is a dated double uh, that you have to follow dated double but that dated double is signed up either under section 90 or under section 90a either under section 90 or under section 90a uh, the treaty might have been signed up and you have to follow that particular treaty okay and if there is no dated double then naturally you will have to follow the domestic law or if there are some special rates of taxes in the domestic law as per the domestic law that means as per the income tax provision that you will have to follow that okay now this is our broader structure in which you will have to apply the respective provisions okay now friends from the examination point of view from the examination point of view you have to identify each of the situations very very precisely before you solve any question in the examination condition okay and uh, just i'll take your a little bit of extra time and show you first of all that how the question wordings will make a big difference in the examination condition while solving the answer so first of all friends i am not solving these questions right now i am going to solve them but i am just trying to show you that uh, 
what kind of wordings that the questions will use it and how we will solve it okay now if you see this particular uh, uh, question say for example this first question there is a gentleman called as mr a he is a musician okay and he has performed some concerts outside india okay so this is his income which is outside india this kind of some references will come in this particular chapter that uh, this is one gentleman he has got some incomes outside india okay and there is some amount of tax which was deducted at source in that particular country so basically some tax payments you have given in that particular country that kind of situation will come okay now uh, in this particular situation it says that india does not have india see does not have this is very important any agreement with that particular country india does not have any agreement with that particular country this is one of the very very valuable point the moment you say that you do not have any agreement okay so you have to follow general domestic provision because india and that country does not have any double taxation avoidance agreement this is one type of a language okay now see this another type of a language in the next question nandita resident okay uh, she is some dramatist and she has got income out of the theoretical work matlab some stage uh, show or something like that okay so this is what uh, the source of uh, her income is and some tax was deducted in the country where she played some uh, uh, concert or something like that that means she has some foreign incomes and that particular foreign incomes some tax amount okay and uh, she has played some theoretical work abroad that means foreign and uh, 11000 was tax deducted so she has got some foreign incomes and were tax deducted in the foreign country okay now see the next part of the language india does not have any double taxation avoidance agreement does not have see so you have to find out properly in every question that whether india and that country does it have a double taxation avoidance agreement or it does not have because accordingly your answer is going to change your presentation of the answer is going to change accordingly okay so this is how you have to understand okay now you see this particular question this question i'm just trying to show the language of the question we'll solve them step by step don't worry okay x is resident ordinarily resident in india okay he has got this much income and uh, some foreign income and india has adt agreement india has adt agreement see india has adt agreement that means india and that country has already got a double taxation avoidance agreement adt agreement is basically avoidance of double taxation another way of writing it so india and that country with which you have a transaction have got a dt double a agreement okay so this is a different situation altogether and you have to answer it separately is that absolutely clear so you have to identify this situation very precisely whether india and that country does it have a agreement or it does not have a agreement and accordingly you have to give the answer and accordingly your presentation of the answer is going to a uh, change okay now first of all friends see in this particular situation let me tell you that from examination point of view the very important uh, aspect of the discussion here is or uh, examination questions uh, comes more and more on either of these uh, situations okay in this particular chapter okay in this particular chapter that india and that country does not have dt double a okay and you have to give some relief you have to give some rebate under section 91 and this situation is the most important situation uh, in this particular chapter okay and uh, when it comes to this taxation of non resident this taxation of non resident whether there is a dd double or there is no dd double in fact this is entirely a different chapter altogether in fact this chapter i've already taught you also that taxation of non resident those special rates of taxes and the entire different different variety of taxes tax on royalty technical fees of the non resident all these situations are part of this particular chapter in fact this is also important chapter only this is also important discussion but this discussion we do it in a separate chapter all together and that in fact i have already completed also uh, the discussion of this particular aspect okay so this is one of the most important uh, thing that you have to keep it in your back memory while applying uh, this particular provisions of this particular chapter okay now friends first of all i would like to focus on section 91 okay so section 91 is a rebate situation okay where there is 
some income of the resident you have foreign income and india and that country do not have do not have duty double is the most important situation in this chapter however uh, other situations also we are going to study okay and this particular situation friends first of all i would like to take you to some barrack provision one second friends let me scroll and i want to show you and i want you all guys to mark it up that particular points very very importantly and very very precisely okay because that is the place very simple thing but students sometimes will do a lot of silly mistakes okay which i don't want at least my students to do okay now see this section 91 first of all you mark it as very important from this particular chapter point of view and what is the situation that you understand which i've already explained that to you okay any person who is resident in india any person who is resident in india so you can imagine myself i am resident in india i don't go to foreign country i am i stay 365 days in india only so i am resident in india okay so this is the situation okay and you have some incomes which was accrued or arose you have some incomes which is accrued or arose during that particular previous year outside india so i have some incomes which accrue or arising from a foreign country that is a, so i am resident so this section 91 is mainly a tax remedy for the resident persons who are having foreign incomes okay that's the situation okay and further further he has paid in that country okay he has paid in that particular country some taxes of course where there is no agreement where there is no agreement under section 90 or section 90a there is no agreement under section 90 or similar situation in section 90 also but let me say here only 90 and there is no agreement for double taxation under section 90 for that particular transaction and in that situation this particular section 91 will come into picture so i have a transaction with that country with which india has not signed up any agreement so that's the situation okay then further then i will get some deduction under the law okay some deduction i will get it from indian income tax payable so i will get some deduction from indian income tax so my tax liability will get reduced something like that from indian income tax payable by the sum calculated on a doubly taxed income sum calculated on doubly taxed income that means how much amount is doubly taxed uh, that means included in that country also and included in india also in my example if you see here the hardcore basic example which i have given you okay see this the doubly taxed income is these rental incomes this is a doubly taxed income which i have already stated okay i am resident in india okay this is how you have to understand this i am resident in india there is a doubly taxed income from the Indian income tax so this is my tax from the Indian income tax I will get some deduction and I'm getting this particular relief uh, you can say right now relief under section 91 in that particular situation okay so uh, I will get uh, some calculated on a doubly taxed income some calculated on the doubly taxed income at now the very important thing is coming at the Indian rate of tax at the Indian rate of tax or the rate of tax of the said country that means indian rate of tax or foreign rate of tax whatever the rate is applicable whichever is lower okay whichever is lower okay or if both the rates are equal that means indian rate and the foreign rate is say for example equal the rate of tax then you will get it at indian rates of tax if the both the rates are equal so basically it is whichever is less only so indian rate you want foreign rate you want and uh, whichever is lower rate of that you have to multiply with the doubly taxed income so these are the most important aspect of this particular section you have to keep it i'll give you in some time some examples also to make you understand this very very carefully okay so important thing is doubly taxed income okay indian rate of tax okay then uh, rate of tax of the said country whichever is lower okay this is the amount of the rebate which you will get it under this particular section where there is no agreement between India and that particular country. This is a hardcore uh, situation of section 91. This is something which you have to keep it in your back memory and always.
Now friends, I will give you some examples of how to compute this particular uh, rebate or this particular relief under section 91. Okay, but you have to remember this double taxed income, Indian rate of tax, foreign rate of tax, whichever is this is a heart of situation. Okay, double taxed income. Okay, then uh, Indian rate of tax, then rate of tax of that country, whichever is lower. Situation is that assessee should be resident and income should accrue or arise from outside India. So basically resident person and the foreign income which is covered by this particular section and uh, I'm going to give you some rebate as per section 91. Okay. Now I will give you one example first of all friends and uh, understand these few examples and uh, before I go ahead let me tell you that you copy down this particular example for your reference. Okay. These are some hardcore basic example. Just understand how the workings are developed before I start with the formal discussion of the questions in this particular chapter. Okay. Now see, first of all, this particular assessee should be resident. If it is not mentioned, you have to write here that assessee has to be resident. Okay. Then this assessee should have basically some foreign income. Okay. Now understand this is an example. So resident, individual in my example and uh, foreign income. Okay. So you have Indian income and you have some foreign income. Okay, tax paid in that country, this kind of data the question has to give us. Okay, this is just an example. You have to copy down the full example, please. Okay, so uh, this is your foreign income. Uh, foreign income is included in India. Why? Because in India you are liable for global taxation. And now uh, 1 lakh 50,000 and tax paid is this. Okay, so first of all, you have to calculate foreign rate of tax. What is a foreign rate of tax? So foreign income and a foreign tax. You will get foreign rate of tax. This is your foreign income, one working I have done which is doubly taxed income, okay, tax paid in that country and if you average it out, you will get a average rate of tax of that particular country or you will get a tax rate of that particular country, okay. So this is one thing that you already require, okay. Now you got this particular total income, you have to apply the slabs of the respective year and get the amount of the tax liability, give the rebate if applicable, consider the surcharge, the tax liability calculation is absolutely normal, rebate if applicable, apply not applicable, not apply, surcharge if applicable, apply, otherwise not apply, everything is normal. So you'll get this particular amount of the tax liability by multiplying the uh, slab rates, okay, because in my example, assess is individual, okay. So this figure, you will get an average rate of tax now, see, just use your calculator friends, okay, this is your total income and this is your tax liability. This, if you will convert it into percentage, you will get Indian average rate of tax. Okay, you will get, you can call it as Indian rate of tax. You will get an Indian average rate of tax. Okay, now this is 11 point some odd percentage. This is your Indian rate of tax. This is your Indian rate of tax. Okay, now this figure is your foreign rate of tax. This is your foreign rate of tax. Foreign average rate of tax. Indian rate and the foreign rate whichever is less so this is your whichever is less rate of tax okay these you have to multiply with the doubly taxed income so income which is included in india also and income which is included in that country also okay that is called as a doubly taxed income so in my example friends the doubly taxed income is in my example the doubly taxed income is this figure okay the doubly taxed income is this figure which is included in India also which is included in that country also this is a doubly taxed income okay this is a doubly taxed income multiply with this particular rate and get the amount of the rebate or you can say relief this is calculated under section 91 okay in this particular example okay and the tax liability minus the relief is a net tax liability this is the basic structure this is the basic structure of computing the uh, rebate under section 91. You should take down this full example friends. Okay. The hardcore basic example, but you should have that. So Indian average rate, foreign rate, whichever is less. Okay. Multiply with the double taxed income and get the amount of the rebate, reduce it from the tax liability normally. And this is your net tax liability. Okay. Now friends, the next example. Okay. Now see in this particular example, friends, uh, what I have taken is that this is your foreign income which is uh, 2 lakh rupees on which tax paid is 7500. So foreign income is 2 lakhs, 
tax paid in that country is uh, 7500 this kind of data question will print normally so you will get a average rate of the foreign countries so basically you will get a tax rate of the foreign country okay now on this you will calculate the tax liability in india now in india you get that basic exemption and rebates and all that kind of situation so for some reason the tax liability is nil it is possible sometimes even if this 2 lakh 25000 was little bit more and maybe you got some rebate and because of that the tax liability come to nil possibility okay so the tax what i'm just trying to say this tax liability calculation is all normal okay just give the basic exemption uh, as such applicable and uh, 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 multiply with the normal tax rates and get the tax liability however in this example this is nil now because this is nil if you will take out the average uh, you will get a nil only no indian rate you will get nil only because you are not paying any taxes in india because if you will say this total income and the tax liability if you take out a percentage so naturally it is going to be a zero percent so indian rate of tax in the given example has become zero percentage okay and foreign rate is this percentage this is a foreign rate but whichever is less so ultimately rebate will be zero percent basically you will not get the rebate i mean just the example okay so anyway you have no tax liability so no question of any rebate so net tax liability anyway in india remains nil the message here is friends that it is possible that you are not paying any tax in any one country so in that case now you cannot ask for a rebate because there is no doubly taxed income logically because income which was taxed in that country in, ex in this particular example you have to imagine like that okay that on two legs on these two legs you already paid tax in that country you already paid tax in that country but you aren't paying any taxes in india because in india you are getting some basic exemption or you're getting some rebates maybe okay and because of that and because of that you aren't paying any taxes in india and that is the reason your indian rate is nil so you are not getting any rebate out of this particular situation is another way of understanding this particular situation okay now friends i'll give you one more example as i already told you friends these are simple examples hardcore basic examples you better make a note of this keep on copying it darling otherwise later on you might face some problems okay now the next example okay now friend this is a little bit of advanced example but you better understand okay now this assessor has got an income here indian income okay now you have a foreign income on which tax paid is this figure is 1 lakh 50000 rupees income on which you are paying taxes 15000 rupees okay so this is a foreign income now you have another foreign income from same country only but another foreign income example agricultural income from foreign country so it is basically agricultural income of the foreign country of the foreign country okay now in that particular case it is exempt in that country example because this kind of data question has to print in examination condition that this is a foreign income but the foreign income is exempt in that country but taxable in this country i mean taxable in india because in india only indian agricultural income is exempt foreign agricultural income is not exempt in india so this data question has to print it so basically this is a question where you have two source of income from foreign country foreign country is the same only same foreign the country is one there were two source of income okay on which tax is paid but one source is exempt in that country other source is taxable in that particular country however everything is taxable in india okay so if you want to calculate the foreign rate how much is the total income of the foreign country now as such you will never know that what is the computational method mechanism of the foreign country but you have to use the question data so just like you calculate tax liability in india similar uh, concept to apply with respect to the foreign income and arrive at the average rate of tax okay so this was exempt as printed in the question okay this two lakh was exempt so in the foreign country you are not including this two lakh because it is exempt because of the question data otherwise you will never know that how that income is exempt in that country question has to print this data okay and on this 1 lakh 50000 you are paying this 15000 tax so this is your foreign average rate of tax this is your foreign average rate of tax okay so once you got this particular foreign average rate of tax you already got this particular number now the next thing is you need to have indian rate of tax so now indian computation is all normal so you have already included your global income because of your residential status resident in india individuals all these things is assumed as i already told you okay so on 11 lakh 40000 you have to multiply with your own slabs the respective year okay so this is your tax liability uh, rebate 
if applicable you apply not applicable not apply so on merits in fact the tax liability calculation is all normal that's all i'm just trying to tell you okay then apply the sales whatever and get this particular amount of the tax liability average it out okay these two figure when you create and convert it into percentage you will get a indian rate of tax okay so you get this particular indian rate of tax so indian rate foreign rate whichever rate is okay less now the next thing that you have to understand here is that how much is a doubly taxed income okay now in the given circumstances friends the doubly taxed income is only this 150000 because because the 2 lakh rupees sorry yeah 2 lakh rupees because this 2 lakh of rupees is exempt in that particular country that means these 2 lakh of rupees is not taxed in that country this is not taxed in that country but it is taxed in india okay and therefore it is taxed in only one country it is not taxed in both the countries so a doubly taxed income is basically an income which should be taxed in both the countries in both the countries okay however the question has to print this data this is what i'm just trying to tell you question will print and some advanced level questions will print this data and give it to you so you have to read the question data and then you have to take the conclusions okay so uh, in my particular example because it was exempt in that country the two lakh rupees is not a doubly taxed income so doubly taxed income is only one lakh fifty thousand so you will get the rebate only on one lakh fifty thousand rupees so this is your doubly taxed income okay and this is not going to be three lakh fifty thousand that means your total figure including two lakh rupees this is not going to be like this so this one lakh fifty thousand uh will be eligible for your uh, uh double taxation relief okay when you will multiply with the percentage okay you will get the relief and the net tax liability in other words what i'm trying to tell you here is with the help of this particular example that the doubly taxed income yeah okay, the doubly taxed income is that income which is taxed in both the countries supposing if one country is exempting and other country is taxing it then it is not a doubly taxed income I once again repeat baby that the double tax to income should be that income which is taxed in both the countries for which you are doing the discussion however if one country is exempting and the another country is taxing it it will not amount i repeat it will not amount to a doubly taxed income and if it is not a doubly taxed income you will not get the uh, relief of section 91 okay now friends once you have understood this i will once again repeat this little bit with the help of this bar in fact i've already explained that just a repetition but the reminder for uh your working because this is hardcore basics okay see any person who is resident in india so in all our example you have assumed that the says he was resident okay and you have foreign income that means income which is accruing or arising outside india see this is outside india okay you have paid tax in that country okay then there is something called as a doubly taxed income so it is an income which is taxed in india also and in that country also okay then you will need indian rate of tax now uh, indian rate of tax is understood here as indian average rate of tax particularly in case of individual even otherwise you should always consider this average rate of tax or the rate of tax of the said country or the rate of tax of the said country whichever is lower okay so rate of tax you get whichever is lower multiply that with a doubly taxed income and get the amount of the rebate and that's the hardcore basics of section 91